we can see some changes inside this uh, oil storage location. This is in eastern Montreal and uh, what we have here are uh, large reservoirs that are used to uh, uh, to store oil and, and transfer onto these uh, cargo ships. So let's take a closer look at this. Quite interesting what's happening. So as I mentioned this is quite an interesting area. Here we have these uh, oil reservoirs that are that are in the eastern part of Montreal and if I zoom in a little bit you can start to understand what's happening. Now these uh, oil reservoirs typically have a lid on top that moves up and down depending on the, the, the amount of oil that's contained in it. So as they draw the oil out of these reservoirs the lid moves down and as they fill it up the lid moves up to the top. So in, in the case of the radar energy what's happening is when, when these reservoirs are, are lower the radar energy is penetrating into the cylinder, bouncing around and reflecting pretty strongly depending on how deep the, the reservoir is, uh, stronger in some cases uh, th than others. So, if, so in the opposite situation where the lid is all the way to the top, essentially it's acting like a smooth surface and uh, there's, uh, there's no penetration into the actual cylinder and either we'll see no changes or we just, we'll just have a, a smooth uh, response. So you can see here in the, in the Sentinel-1 data set, we actually have some changes occurring. So these red, these red cylinders, what that's telling me is that on the first date, there was quite a lot of radar response or more radar response or, or some change in the radar response. So on the first date, the cylinder was probably down to some level. We don't know how deep it was, but there was definitely a lowering of the top part of the cylinder because there was more scattering on the first date, which is what's giving us this red color. Uh, conversely, we have some cylinders that are blue, so we can actually surmise that the uh, cylinder has actually gone down on the second date and we're getting more backscatter on the second image. So we can actually tell something about the changes that are occurring in these uh, cylinders here, which is quite an interesting application for, uh, for change detection. Now if we want to actually measure this change in terms of the, uh, the, the, the physical changes that have occurred, the Geomatica software is set up quite nicely to perform automatic change detection and specifically for radar imagery. There's a suite of change detection algorithms that are available within the algorithm librarian. So the CCD intensity change detection algorithm can be loaded up. So what we would choose is the second date as our image to look at changes. So we'll pick the April 12th as our second image and then the reference image will be the first image. So in this case we'll pick the March 7th and we're careful to select the HH channel. If we can run this analysis, this takes a few minutes. I've already run this analysis to, to uh, speed it up here. And uh, so I've got the two color multi-view loaded up between the March 7th and the April 12th image. And you can see we have a similar pattern as previous with some targets giving more response in the latest image and uh, more response in the, in the first image. So these uh, blue uh, cylinders and these red cylinders. And if we load up the actual change metric, the CCD intensity change result, you can see that these, uh, these are correlating uh, quite nicely. We can see that the bright areas, which is where the most change is occurring, are correlating quite nicely with the targets or the cylinders that have changed over time. And we can pick up other, other changes. As you can see here, we have our, our ships that are obviously changing from one date to the next because of their, uh, they've changed in terms of the location and some of the ice features are, are quite uh, uh, noticeable as well. So hopefully that gives you a sense of how easy it is to work with Sentinel-1 imagery. As mentioned, the data is completely freely available and Gematica as a software tool is quite powerful for analyzing this imagery, generating information and looking at trends and measurements using this great data set that's available through the European Space Agency.